not bad. What are you talking about? Don't even, don't even pretend that's gonna, gonna, no, get out of town, get out, oh, what? No, no way! Oh, oh, ah, oh, look at that! Oh, is that a nice piece of engineering or what? Fits nice and snug. Oh, look at that. I barely even need the screws to hold it in. I think I only need one. I can take one of them out. Let's check the other side. Oh! Oh, it's so beautiful! Oh, look at that! Wait a minute. We've got a hole on the top. What are we gonna do with that? Oh, eternally grateful for my brother bringing a bunch of stainless steel bolts and nuts. Come on, come on, come on. <sighs> Two and a half hours. All right, I better go do something. Oh, come on, come on, come on. So close, so close. Ooh, that's some nice stuff. All right, I just need to cut this junk off the bottom. Sand it. Use the nail file. Shh, don't tell anyone. And wipe it with some acetone to smooth it out. Then I can test it. Mm. All right. Great! Oh, looks like I'm missing something here. What does it look like to you? A house. Little tiny house. Keep turning it. My 3D printer only prints 10 centimeters high. So I had to make a little piece for the top. And it screws in. Totally ready for a test. Looks like the tail of a tuna back there. None of it was based on aesthetic decisions though. It's all just math. I'm getting 5.75 miles, no, yeah, miles an hour on that one, which is the fastest one so far. And I should also check the bottom of the boat because it might have a uh, green furry carpet hanging off the bottom that's slowing me down because I haven't cleaned the bottom of the boat in a few days. But yeah, so far that's the fastest one. And it might be better if I clean off the boat. I guess I should just go do that right now. Oh, my flippers are way over there. I do think the pitch on this propeller might be a little too steep. And I should back it off a little bit. Since, I don't know, I just get the feeling the motor is working a little hard. Alright, I didn't clean the boat off yet. But I just got up to 6.2 miles an hour with my two fastest propellers. I just decided to put the two best ones I have on there. Because I've been uh, using, I've been changing just one propeller and leaving the other one the same. But, you know, I just wanted to see what it would be like. And yeah, 6.2 is uh, significantly more than the original 5. It's that one, and then the one I just made. Alright, let me go clean off the hull. Alright, 6.5 miles an hour with the hull cleaned off, with the two fast propellers. But it looks like, uh, based on the voltage reading on the batteries, it looks like it's sucking more power than the other, the original propellers. But, the interesting thing is I can turn the 
the throttle way down and it looks like it's hardly sucking any power and I can go 5.2 miles per hour which is faster than the original propellers at full throttle. I need to go get my amp meter which I found this morning. It only goes up to 50 amps and these motors are rated for like 60 but I can just uh, turn up the throttle to 40 or 50 amps, some known, uh, known amount of power and just see what the speed is on each propeller and maybe test a couple different power levels. Yeah, I don't need, I don't have to go full throttle. It would be nice if I could get fast on something going under 50 amps, that'd be kind of nice. I also put little connectors on my amp meter so it'll hook right into here. That's the uh, motor connectors. That'll be nice. Uh, right now though, I'm just gonna enjoy my six and a half miles an hour for a minute. Doesn't go six and a half miles an hour doing a U-turn though. Alright, hit it! Oh man, that looks good. Look how smooth those motor mounts go. I gotta say I did a good job on those mounts. Almost be up to hydrofoil speed. Huh. Dude, if you want to go faster, just get a huge motor. Well, I'm running on a solar powered boat and I want to be able to actually drive continuously all day. I don't care if I can go 20 miles an hour for like a mile. I want to be able to go like 20 miles. Or 50 miles. I want long distance capabilities. Because I don't care if I go fast going half a mile, it's not going to take long either way. But if I'm going like 20 miles, I want to maximize the speed I can get between here and there. You know, like an extra mile an hour it takes a lot of time off that kind of trip. 